Hi everyone, hi I'm Megs, welcome back to my channel. I first want to start this video off by actually saying a big thank you to Alana here on YouTube. Um, it's all together Alana. She's an awesome chick from Scotland um, and she has a really natural way of being incredibly charming and I just really enjoy what she has to say, how she says it, and a very colorful, colorful language, which I love. Um, and she shout, uh, she did a shout out to me uh, and my channel um, in one of her videos, and I definitely see an increase in subscribers, whether it's due to that or just people finding me. Uh, either way, I do appreciate it, and I appreciate you coming here to join me, so thank you so, so, so much. Let's get to what this video is um, more about, and this is my past purchase, or perhaps it's my version of uh, the anti-haul, anti-consumerism type videos that are out there that were started by Samantha March along with Kimberly Clark. Samantha's was more of a will I buy it, kind of figuring it out, and uh, Kimberly's was more about anti-hauling in general, basically going through releases as to why she definitely wasn't going to buy it in a very articulate and uh, hyperbolic kind of sarcastic way. So I do have some notes here as well as I look on uh, Instagram to see the new, uh, the new releases and I use typically Indie Makeup Spotlight, Makeup Release Radar as well as Angel Naked One. A lot of my um, focus is on indie makeup but I do enjoy a mainstream um, launch here and there. Um, I'm not definitely, I haven't written off any kind of mainstream products, but it just seems like my collection is growing more with indie products, if that makes sense. So let's kind of get to it. So the first one I have here, I'm going to kind of move over a little bit, just so you allowed to see some pictures of it here. Um, so is the MAC Paint Pot. So MAC, oh dear, dear MAC. Um, I never really got along with uh, a lot of the MAC paint pots. I, I've used soft ochre quite a bit in the past, but I do find they crease on me. I believe this is just kind of more of an extension on the paint pot line. At one point in time, they did have quite a few colors and they kind of pared it down, and now they're releasing more um, fun kind of fashion colors, emeralds, purples, looks like, and, and uh, burnt reds and so forth. But I'm going to pass on these. However, if we go to the next thing from MAC, this particular product, this is from um, Harris Reed. I really love the packaging. I don't know about the products themselves, but the packaging just looks absolutely stunning. Um, I am not really into lip palettes uh, in, the, in the form that they have it. Uh, and the nine pan shadows from MAC are always a little bit dodgy. Um, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to get from this collection, but I know I want something. Um, the packaging and the design, it looks like it is, it looks almost like tarot cards from what I can see. And I have to say I'm not really in, super familiar with Harris Reed as a fashion designer or a brand, but I do like what I'm seeing thus far. Um, Next here is the e.l.f. duo. It looks like a blush and highlighter kind of duo, but it's giving me very much like cover effects kind of dupe, if, if that makes any sense with the blushes and their kind of blush toppers. Um, here in Canada, we don't receive a lot of the e.l.f. Uh, special um, parts. We have a lot of the core collection um, in like Walmart and I believe in Rexall here in Ontario. Um, so we don't get all the little special launches. Um, we can order off the website, but um, I'm just not willing, I guess, to get to kind of go there for these. So I'm going to say these are a pass as well. Next on my list is the Beauty Bakery. They're coming out with mini and fun sized versions of, well not even say versions, but um, of some of their products and some mini eyeshadow palettes. And I think they're called Snackaroons, I wanna say. Um, they're launching in Target as well as on their website. I think this is a wonderful way to uh, try out and test out a product or brand that you haven't uh, tried before. My problem is that we don't have Target here and um, 
I haven't actually ordered anything from Beauty Bar Beauty Bakery. Uh, however, I have visited their store in San Diego, or it was in San Diego last time I was there, uh, and I've tried their lip whips, and that's about it. But I've heard nothing but good things about um, some other products that I wouldn't mind kind of branching out in their product line, um, other than just their liquid lipsticks. So, but for right now, I'm gonna have a pass on these. I've also seen, just to kind of mention, them um, gonna be launched on Amazon. But I don't think it's going to be Amazon Canada. I think it's just going to be um, Amazon.com. So that's kind of an interesting twist too, which is fantastic, I think, for the brand. Uh, this one is from Lime Crime. This is the Glory and Aura eyeshadow palettes or face palettes. I'm not too sure how they're going to be face palette, but you know, hey, whatever floats your boat. Um, I'm going to pass on these. I haven't been overly... I don't know, interested in what Lime Crime has been launching lately. Uh, I do have two of their eyeshadow palettes, kind of their original Venus and Venus 2, which I absolutely adore. Um, I've tried, obviously, some other products from the brand, but I can't really say I get excited uh, from Lime Crime. Um, you know, I haven't written them off or anything like that. I don't have any issues with them. I'm just not super excited. So these are an uh, easy pass for me. Um, this one is from Givenchy. This is their new foundation. Uh, I want to make sure I get it right. Prism Libre. Um, and it's the Caring caring Foundation or Caring Glow Foundation. Yeah, kind of an interesting name. Uh, let's make it a little bit more awkward. Uh, I am a huge eyeshadow junkie. I think I've, I've well established that, but I think for and for the foundations, I'm definitely a trollop. So I, those are my two things that I absolutely adore. Um, so I'm probably gonna pick this up. So this is a purchase. <laughs> I haven't picked it up quite yet. ColourPop. Oh dear Lord, ColourPop. Uh, I have watched other videos with regards to these quints and I do echo other people's sentiments regarding them. I do find that they look like Natasha Denona quints and the mini palettes. Um, not that Natasha kind of owns the right uh, <laughs> to this particular uh, layout for eyeshadows, but I'm getting those kind of vibes to be honest with you. Um, I like ColourPop. They're, I have ordered from them. I have two recent um, shadow palettes, the Baroque as well as at Forest Sight. The really beautiful ColourPop has definitely come a long way in terms of the formulation. I'm just not interested in this. Uh, I do find that they kind of have been adding to this consumer consumerism and like releasing, 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 which kind of makes me want to go the other way, to be honest with you, with regards to them. I just don't feel like sometimes there's a lot of thought, but it's nice to see them changing up their packaging and their layouts and maybe trying something different. So they do look beautiful, but I do feel like this is pretty much same old ColourPop in terms of colors. So an easy pass for me. Next one here is Paul and Joe. Very, very cute. I find this is very, you know, kitty centric. <laughs> um, was it Pat Puss? <laughs> what the hell was that? Anyway, um, very cute, very, very um, adorable. Uh, the, the trios look really pretty. I like the green one, um, but I think I'm going to pass for these, on these, I should say. They ha Apollo Joe used to be sold at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. Um, I don't see them anymore in store. I haven't really checked to see if they're online anymore, but potentially... Um, you know, that's where you can ex access them. However, I'm just going to pass on these. Uh, very adorable, cute packaging, but I'm just, I'm not really interested. Next one here is Kaleidos. This is the Club Nebula. This has been launched as of January 19th. And unfortunately, I do believe it's sold out. This is the launch from Angie here on YouTube, Angelica, uh, Angelica Nikvist. Uh, and of course, everybody knows her. And this, now, I did actually purchase it, so yay, a purchase! <laughs> um, I was not going to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning here in uh, Eastern Standard Time um, for this, but I happened to wake, I did happen to wake up at 6.30, I was going to work, 
and I just checked the website at that time and there was still product left so I did purchase it. I'm very excited for her and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what this palette is about. Just knowing that she has very, very um, uh, colorful tastes as well as her feelings about certain colors and color combinations and textures and finishes. So I'm actually really, really excited for this product, for this uh, launch and I couldn't be happier for her. Okay, next is the Rare Beauty. Now again, this has already been launched. There's been lots of videos on it. And this is the Stay Vulnerable Collection, uh, which consists of the melted blushes as well as the liquid eyeshadows that are matte and uh, the lock lip glosses. Now, I get the Glossier vibes, like those liquid matte eyeshadows, and they did not go over well from Glossier. So I'm just kind of like unsure how these liquid shadows matte form are going to be. Um, typically matte, sorry, typically liquid shadows crease on me, other than Danessa Myrick's uh, color fixes. Those are pretty good. Um, and I don't know if we actually need matte liquid shadows to be be utterly honest with you. Um, really, did we did we need it? Did we ask for it? I, I, I don't know. Um, but what I will tell you is that I'm, I did purchase, I have it right here, I just got it today, uh, the Melted Blush. This is the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush and I purchased it in Nearly Apricot. So a purchase, but for the rest of the collection, probably a pass. Okay, moving on to Shine by SD. They're launching their Glimmer Goddess uh, Shine, I think, palette. Um, these look really beautiful. There's, a, It's a trio, it looks like, with a, like a gold and champagne. And it looks like maybe a copper or rose gold there in the middle. Um, these look very glittery and shimmery to me. And as I've already mentioned, my skin has a little bit of texture. It can be a little bit of rough, especially in this area. So I'm very, very hesitant when I get a feeling that, that the... There's a little bit more of a glitterness to, to highlighters. I'm also not a huge, you know, highlight me to the gods kind of a person. I enjoy a nice luminosity and a radiance that's soft. Um, so for this fact only, I probably, I'm gonna say pass to this, but I wouldn't mind exploring this company further. Um, one, because I think their products uh, look really, really stunning. And two, they're from my home province and I couldn't be prouder, and I want to support, especially uh, out east uh, in the Maritimes, Hank, um, and I want to support and encourage uh, innovation from out there, and yay, yay, Halifax. <laughs> uh, this next one is from Winky Lux. This, uh, there's two palettes here. Looks like they're going to be sold in Target. Um, one of them is definitely a more vibrant and uh, fruity kitty, I think it is, and the other one is more, um, a it says galaxy, but I'm not really getting galaxy vibes from this. It's very cool tone, neutral, yawn, uh, kind of a <laughs> kind of a product. The fruity one looks cute, looks you know, but the color combination, it's just I'm not interested. Um, so I'm gonna pass on these ones. Next on my list here is Auric, Auric by Samantha Ravendahl, and you know I have watched Samantha for quite a while now, especially in her battle ash days um i could just i i'm picturing samantha then um with the toque and uh you know very very different aesthetic that she has now i'm happy to see that she's evolved uh in her you know as we all do we evolve in our style our clothes and our choices uh in terms of makeup and, and other things in her life she's definitely more uh pared down more simplified and glowy um kind of clean looking skin and just a radiance and while this looks absolutely beautiful i love the packaging to it it's very sophisticated looking i would say it's pretty much on par with victoria beckham in terms of feel and kind of style and in terms of price I do feel, um, I know what she's trying to go for and I have to be you know, completely upfront and really candid about it, but I haven't actually watched her launch video so I don't know how fair it is because I, I have nothing really to draw upon other than what other people kind of have said. 
I love the packaging, absolutely gorgeous. I love, uh, you can tell there's some thought that went, in, well, not some thought, there's thought that went into it. Um, auric, okay, you know, of or pertaining to gold, I get it, AU is an elemental symbol for gold. Um, and I love that it's like a glowy, radiance kind of complexion. It doesn't surprise me that she kind of went this route. There's always a controversy whether or not um, influencer brands and celeb brands when they launch at the price point in which they in which they launch. So for that reason, I'm going to sit back. This is going to be a perhaps and see how it kind of goes. You know what I mean? You dig? So I'm kind of, uh, we'll see. It's a perhaps. Um, one more, actually two more. Natasha Denona is launching their mini love palette. I think it, it's really cute. Um, I, the colors are definitely der derived from the large love palette. Didn't purchase that, didn't really interest me. And same goes for this mini palette. So that's an easy pass. And lastly, it's going to be a purchase. I can tell you that right now is the Shiseido Lifting, was it the Radiant Lifting Foundation? I really enjoy uh, Shiseido's foundation complexion products. And I have seen some reviews. And it looks very promising. And as I've already mentioned, I am a foundation whore. So <laughs> I will probably be picking this up relatively soon, but not right away. So this is my version and I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe down below. And thank you again for those of you who are new to my channel. And I will see you soon. Take care and stay safe. Bye.